Starting the year off with a bang, Air Kuda. Welcome back to Airbus Review SA. This is an exciting new year of 2023. Uh, we've got new air guns to review this whole year through. Um, so yeah, stick with us. We're going to show you what's in the box here. We've got this whole new air gun industry. It's called JTS Air Guns. And today we've got the Air Acuda in point two two here with us today. So we'll open up the box and show you what's in there and how it performs. See you now. Upon unboxing this little beauty, and let me tell you one thing guys, you can only find this one at pelleguns.com in South Africa. This is the first one in South Africa that we will be able to review. It comes all the way from Texas, guys. Katay, that place is flipping awesome. So we'll get to the gun now. Let's just have a look here. They do say it's 920 feet per second for the 22 caliber. It's got the magazine capacity. You get two magazines in the box, which is 10 rounds each. Uh, length of it, it is 104 centimeters, the total length. The barrel length is uh, 45.7 centimeters. And then the total weight unscoped is 3.63 kgs. And uh, the regulated pressure, uh, it is regulated. Um, they say it's 1,800 PSI, but you charge your gun up to 3,000 PSI. Um, yeah, it's got a manual and it tells you how to use it. So, and it's in English, which is quite nice. Shows you where to fill it up and, 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 and. Even how to load the magazine. That is a nifty little tool to use. Because sometimes guys come to the shop, we sell them the air guns, and we explain to them how the thing works. But let's be, all, let's, let's be honest. It goes through the one year, out through the other year, because of the excitement. You know, the excitement of getting a new air gun. I mean, you'll hear all the guy is talking about is this and that. You do catch words here or there, but you just want to take this thing home and go and shoot. That's how it works. So we all know, we've all been there. So let's have a look. Here are the magazines. They do feel aluminium, which is quite good. Have a look at that. Oh. That's so smooth. This is really nice, guys. Uh, the quality on these are very, very impeccable. They are really nice. I really enjoy that. Oh, it gets a couple of O-rings. Let's have a look at this bad boy when we take it out of the box. Look at that, guys. Look at that checkering on this nice wooden stock. It's got a thumb hole grip for comfortability shooting with the thumb through and thumb up it's got a cheek piece that you can move up and down it's got a rubber butt pad not that soft but it's pretty good and sturdy and um, I see it's got a Picatinny rail on the top here your magazine slot right there and yeah so far so good I mean let me point it up and let's see how it feels you know it's really like they would call it pointable I like that Nice thing that I also could see, we'll bring it a bit closer here guys, it's got S for safety and F for fire. So you'll see this other lever, it almost looks like a trigger lever. Very, very noticeable that you can put it on safe or fire. So even if you have gloves on or thick fingers, you'll still be able to maneuver this. It is nice that it's right there by your finger. I mean, while you're looking at your quarry or whatever you're shooting, it's pretty easy to pull. Just make sure you don't pull the wrong one and then put it on safety. But yeah, that, that's a nice feature. Another feature that I like, it's got a side lever, biathlon lever on the side here. But one thing that I felt now while cocking this, <laughs> guys, if you feel this, this is very, very smooth. I'm not gonna lie. It feels like buttery smooth. That is so, so good. Um, yeah, I just want to say to you guys, you can decock it. Look, I have been decocking it there, but I've got a little bit of skill here. You're using one hand, you know, using my thumb part there at the back, just pushing it in, letting it go forward slowly and decocking it. So you can do that, but make sure when you decock it, you do it without the magazine. Otherwise you'll load another pellet in. 
Um, another cool feature that I've seen that you guys might check there, it's got a little pin probe. So you're going to get more flow. So whatever you're going to shoot, it's going to give it more flow through the barrel. So we'll check. Um, we're going to start off with the 18 grain JSBs. So guys, another thing on trying out, testing out pellets. I don't show it on the videos and so on, but I've got like a whole big box full of pellet slugs, you name it, from all makes, different sizes that we try before we do the video downrange just to get acceptable accuracy. I can use, I'm not going to name names, some kind of pellets and I'll be able to shoot that target down there at 50 meters, but I mean it's going to be at a shot, it's going to be like four inches wide. I mean, you got to choose the right pellet for the right gun. This air gun, for argument's sake, the one in the store, it's not going to be exactly the same. Might be a sm small bit different, pellets are more forgiving, but if you want to shoot slugs, that's where you guys are going to have to choose your own slug. Get yourself a test pack, go shoot them, and see which one is the most accurate in yours. Mine will, for argument's sake, say shoot the 21 grains, yours shoot 21 grains, it is horrible accuracy. Try then the 23s or the 25s. That's why you have to check your accuracy node with the different types of weights of slugs you want to shoot. Generally, the pellets are more forgiving. That's what I said. So just check that out, guys. Please don't quote me on which ones to use and say it doesn't work. Try different ones, different sizes. So yeah, anyway, let's move on. It's got a half-inch UNF thread in the front here. It's very nicely hidden away behind this cap to protect the threads, which is very, very cool. Um, then another thing that I saw that I like, with all the new air guns coming out, you don't have a full probe no more. They have got a full nipple. I mean, full nipple, yeah, yeah, that's what they've got. They've got a full nipple right here in the front, so it's a standard quick coupler that can fit on top here, not just its own one like some other air gunners out there has got its own little full coupler type thing and you can't use the standard one then you have to buy this and that to make it work this one on your basic uh, full station complete full station clips on you fill it up to 200 and something bar and you are waxed so yeah if you can check at the bottom there i forgot to mention that two gauges otherwise called as the manometers so you'll have your full pressure and your regulator pressure so we're going to take this thing, put it over the chronograph, and then we're going to go shoot it at 50 meters, see what kinds of groupings we can get with whatever pellets I find to be working in this one. Because any gun can shoot slugs, but how accurate? You're going to have to be the tester. Check which one works for you. The most accurate. But anyway, I really think this is a very, very cool looking air gun. Looks traditional, the way it looks. And um, yeah. I hope it shoots as good as it looks yeah because i mean this full grip yeah sits nicely in my hand so if you want to walk and stalk with this without a silence on i mean it's going to be easy to pick up and shoot and walk around with it just put on a sling i see it doesn't have place to put a sling but you can get those slings with the studs put them in and you a hey, for away but yeah let's stop talking i want to shoot this thing man So I've got the 18 grain JSBs, it's shooting 863 feet per second and um, yeah, let's do five shot groupings and let's see what I can get out of it. Uh, guys, I just want to mention also, remember regulated guns, you also need to shoot them in quite often. Um, it takes around about, they say about a ton of pellets to settle it down. So yeah, let's just give it a go and let's see what accuracy comes out at the end. 800. 844 Guys, I think that's pretty good grouping right there especially this is like a really well built air gun but for a really good price it's not going to break the bank um, and it's i would call it a premium class for a really good price uh, it really shoots well 
I mean, with the speeds, I definitely know I'll be able to shoot, let's say, my rock pigeons, Indian miners around here in South Africa, target shooting or whatever, just blinking. It, it's really good. Uh, you don't always need speed, you need accuracy. So let's go and have a look at that 50 meter grouping. Guys, I'm pretty impressed. Look at that five shot grouping. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Um, more than what I can say about the accuracy, I give it a thumbs up if you want to use it for um, target shooting, plinking, or whatever you want to use. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. So, especially, like as you can see, the wind is blowing a little bit. I don't want to always use that as an excuse, but yeah, wind is a big factor in the air gun industry. I mean, that's why some guys tend to shoot with um, slugs, you know, uh, to try and beat the ballistics, but still, even with wind like this, the slugs also get affected. But anyway, let's talk a little bit more about this air gun. The final thoughts that I got on it. It's a new air gun to South Africa. I think it's got pretty big potential here by us. Um, regulated for the price it comes. Everything, I mean this cocking lever is just, I don't know, it's just very nice for me. I've never had an air gun that's got a smooth cocking lever like this before. Um, you know for this price range this thing is it's really legit um, and then especially if you have a look at this magazine what's what's nice about it I don't know if you guys can capture it on the on the camera yeah but it's got like little indents there for the ball bearings to catch in those recess there you know so it's got a positive click when you put it in so if I do that it just stays in place it's very nice it's very smooth everything on this gun it's like buttery smooth trigger pull very smooth cocking lever very smooth it shoots smooth if you if you understand what i'm saying so it's just something different that i felt i really like this if you want to be different in south africa get yourself one of these i mean it really looks apart and um yeah all i did was today just Put on the scope, which is this Discovery HD 4 to 24 by 50 SFIR. It's very compact and uh, you can zoom in quite a lot. It's very accurate, as you could see on um, the footage that I had there. It's very clear and yeah, it looks pretty cool on this air gun if you have a look at that. But yeah, more to, more than that, guys. If you like it, um, come down to Pelagans.com, pick it up, come and see how it looks, uh, and uh, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about it, you know, in the shop there, if you guys are interested. But anyway, hopefully you guys like this. And um, if you like this video, please share and subscribe to Abra's Review SA in conjunction with Pelagans.com. And um, keep an eye out on this channel. This, this whole year is going to be jam-packed full of new air guns, new calibers, and and. So you guys are going to enjoy it. So let's have a great blast of a day. And enjoy. Love you guys lots.